Let's study representing and interpreting data. How do we interpret picture graphs? Recall, picture graphs use images to represent information. If each represents five students, how many students are there in the grade 5 class? Since image equals 5 students, 6 times 5 is equal to 30. Aside from picture graphs, we can also use line plots to show the frequency of the number of students. But how? Use the picture graph to find out the total number of students per grade. Then, plot the total values on the line, plot number of students for grades 1 to 6. Line plots are similar to picture graphs, number of students per grade level. Instead of using images, it uses dots. Number of students for grades 1 to 6. The data interpreted by picture graphs and line plots may vary, similar to what is shown. Line plots focus more on the frequency of values, while picture graphs highlight the specific number in each category. Let's try more. The line plot shows the fraction of an hour allotted by 12 students to play with their gadgets. How many students play for half an hour? To answer this, let's simplify the fractions first. There. Looking at the line plot, 5 students play with their gadgets for half an hour. What other information can we get from the plot? One student does not play any gadget. Four students play with their gadgets for one-eighth of an hour. Only three students play with their gadgets for a quarter of an hour. A recap. A line plot uses dots that are plotted based on the number of times each measurement appears. It highlights the frequency or distribution of data between the picture graph and line plot which can let you identify the smallest and largest values from the data set faster. To learn more, just visit our channel, link in description.